I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News update. Two people are dead in the northwest part of the valley after an altercation led to gunfire. Metro's homicide team is now investigating and two people are currently detained. Metro Lieutenant Jason Johansson says around 420 this afternoon, reports of gunfire came in. The Northwest Area Command responded and found two men that were pronounced dead and another with non-life-threatening injuries currently at UMC. Anybody with information is urged to contact Crime Stoppers. That number is on your screen at 702-385-5555. The Southern Nevada Health District confirms tonight that its first case of monkeypox in Clark County. The case was first reported last week and health officials say the individual is a male in his 20s and was recently traveling domestically. They also say he did not require hospitalization and is isolating at home. So far, no additional cases have been reported at this time. A hometown hero swinging for the fences back here in the valley. Colorado Rockies outfielder and Las Vegas local Chris Barrent is on a rehab assignment here in the Valley. He'll play against the Las Vegas Aviators tomorrow in a game. And you can head out to the ballpark for the six game homestand. All games are slated for 7.05 start time. Danny. And Tuesday looks like a fantastic one for some baseball as long as you don't mind the heat. Temperatures will be noticeably warmer after coming in in the upper 80s, low 90s for three consecutive days. We're back close to the triple digits on Tuesday under a sunny sky with a calm wind. A bit of a pattern change arrives on Wednesday with a surge of moisture moving in from the southeast. Brings in a 20% rain chance, a few more clouds uh, on Wednesday and will keep humidity in play with an isolated rain chance through the weekend. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.